breaking news coming in. This is how we segue. The Boston Celtics finalizing an agreement, according to reports and Woj. You may Udoka, the, the franchise's brand new coach. Now, Zeke, you have plenty of experience. You had him as a player before he became a coach. Give us a little bit of insight if we're not, if you're not familiar with him as a coach. I, I, I love Ime, and and when he came into, you know, I had him when he was when we were with the Knicks, and his his understanding of the game uh, from a player standpoint, he he played the game and he talked the game like a coach. And I remember bringing him over to the side, and I said to him, I, I know you love basketball, and I love I know you love the NBA. I said, but I really think your future is going to be in coaching, mm -hmm. not necessarily playing. And I'm so happy to see that, you know, he's he's paid his dues, he's worked hard, he's going to get his first shot with the Boston Celtics, mm -hmm. and then he inherits a good team. The worst thing you wanted to see for a guy like Eme was to get a bad team. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he's walking into a situation where he's got good players, good organization, good fan base, and that's what he deserves. Indeed, he does deserve it. He has competed against Carlos Boozer as a player and also as a coach. He's coached so many great players. When you go to Brooklyn, also his time in San Antonio, Booz, what do you remember about him as a player and competing against him as a coach? Yeah, my biggest thing with him is that everybody respects him. I think me and Zeke were talking off air. You, it's hard to walk into a room if you're not the guy and, and the man respect, but everybody respects him, his knowledge of the game. Obviously, he's been under Popovich for a long time. I'm really happy for him to get a, a, a very good team, a great fan base. He has a great player in Jason Tatum he can depend on. This is going to be a great start for his coaching career. Now, let's talk about the roster makeup. We know that they've made some changes. Kimba Walker is no longer there, but you have two cornerstones right there, and you're two all-stars, and Jason Tatum, and, of course, you have Jalen Brown. Zeke, your thoughts, what do you think is going to happen with those two under him? I, I, again, you know, we, we see the, the confidence that, Monty has inspired in his players. And we see the confidence that Nate has inspired in his players. And this is what I, I think a lot of fans don't understand, you know, when you talk about, you know, former players coaching pro players. The confidence level that they can give their, their team, the confidence level that they can give these players, you know, it, it just, it's, it's, it's unfathomable in terms of what they're able to do. And I look at, at, at Ime as a guy who can take Tatum and Brown to another level. But also, you'll see those role players mm -hmm. for the Celtics also stepping up, just like we see in Atlanta mm -hmm. and just like we see here in, in Phoenix. Indeed, proud moment for Ime, who will be the head coach of the Boston Celtics. Also, shout out, to, uh, <laughs> out to Neil Long as well. Uh, you, you're a lucky woman right there. You have a, a, a husband who's a head coach. Shouts out to you.